All right, guys. Well, I thought I was recording a, a video. You know, an episode. Turns out, because of OBS's crap, I wasn't. So let's redo this. All right, then. I gotta show you guys two things. Of course, I already showed you if this would have been recording. I did not just get that one disc that helped me get the move for my, was it Flamor or whatever. I also got, see, first off, I got him. I think I already showed you all. Oops. But I also got Syndro. This dude. Got him. So he's fire and, I think, wind or whatever. Or flying. Back, back, back. Get out. Yep, shut it down. All right. Let's go down. Let's see what this guy's got. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Just quit. I just quit the game last time. Yay. Tell. Worse than before. So don't be shy. Ta ta now. Yep. Go on. With your god awful crap. Burp, burp. Oh, yes. I want to do something here. Come on, don't be a quiver pole. Yes. Claw Daddy. I don't see the name of Craw Daddy. Alright. Burp, ball. Item, high speed memory, artillery seeds. Ooh, KO, Oko. Okay. gum. Pretty good. And just bam, 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 bam. Darn it, didn't get the crawdaddy. I'll do this two more times, then I'm going to head on to where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so. Autumn High Speed Memory. Electro Ball. Artillery Seeds. Dang it. So one more time, guys. Okay. I have to. Item, high speed memory, electro ball, and artillery seeds. Let's try this again. If this doesn't work, I'll do it next time. KO. Man, round one KO. Huh? Quaver pole. Okay, whatever. I'll come back at some point and get that. Huh. <sighs> Tell you what, I really do like this feeling. It's a new game. But it feels so retro. It is super freaking enjoyable. Anyone that likes monster taming games, anyone that likes retro games, I recommend you get this, to be quite honest. There's no other way to put it, just go get it. Very... In a way, nostalgic. But also, it's just fun. That's all there is to it. It's fun. Let me go get this. Energen. Oh yeah, there's something else. Um, give me like, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds. Watch this. Leapfrog. Yeah, I got it last time because I was like, man, that looks like somewhere that something can hide that I can't see. And that's what happened. Okay, that's freaking spammers. Spam call. Cafe. Nah. Alright, start heading out. Watch this. Retro games. 
Oh, it really is you retro games. Uh, remember me, Aubergy, from the dreadful hut out in Pecan Forest. I've been out searching for ways to train and grow stronger ever since then, which led me to that research institute right there. I've started working as an assistant to the good doctor. Doc Grape is a great guy who spends his days researching ways to better the future of creatures and humanity. I can't imagine a better way for a little creature like me to learn more about my true potential. If you'd like, I can let you in to take you uh, to take a look around. I can't believe I messed it up. But anyways, this is the place. Let me unlock the doors for you. There. Now you should be able to come and go as you please. Come on, I'll show you around. Dr. Grape, I'm back. Dr. Grape. He can't hear a thing I'm saying, can he? Uh, when he gets engrossed in his work, it's hard to draw him back to reality. Then bam. Well, goodness gracious, who might you be? Ah, so you're retro games then, are you? Little Aubergy here, uh, over there, tell me all about you. From what I hear, you're the one who took care of that mess out in, of the at, uh, out at the hut in the pecan forest. Yes, a shining example for your fellow youth. If all the other little kids your age were more like you, we'd certainly have the brightest of futures of head, ahead of us. Ah, oh, yes, right. I suppose I should uh, at least introduce myself before rambling on like this. Hmm? I am Doc Grape, head of creature research at this fine institute here. Doc Grape, uh, since you've come all the way out here, I'd like to give you something. Something that's pretty freaking cool, I'll tell you that. You're about to see it. By chance, have you ever heard of disc fusion? It's a rather new technology, you see. It fuses the discs of certain creatures, combining their data together to create an entirely different creature. Now, that's not to say you can just go mixing any old data together. That's why I want to have I want you to have this. Recipe 07, Skulltan. Skulltan. Hmm. Disc fusion requires recipes like the one I've just given you. That one there can be used to create a creature called Sk Skulltan. There are all sorts of other recipes out there in the world. I'm sure you'll come across quite a few on your travels. If you want to hear some more about how fusion works, ask Aubergy there. Don't let your let the looks deceive you, though. Uh, there's quite the big brain in that, or quite the brain in that tiny round purple body. I can tell you've got special boldness to you, my young little disker. I only hope you can use that to become the best disker you can and help find ways for humans and creatures to live in harmony. If you ever have find yourself in a bit of a sour spot, just come back and visit. So I would talk to Aubergy, but all he says is, oh, go to a cafe if you need that. You know, if you want to do the fusion stuff. Oh, another thing. This. Oh, two to be exact. Would you like to trade one? Yep. So she's got more that I can um, trade with later on. Um... But it, I don't know if it's going to take to be another episode or if it's going to take, like, the next day or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and load up this. Snow Scourge. Huh, <sighs> getting so many. Alright, press OK. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Burp, burp. All right, let's go up. Dude's pretty much saying he's obsessed. This guy's obsessed with training, so let's do it. Hold up now, my friend. You're a discard, right? Uh, you look like you probably know your stuff. What's your name? Retro Games. Well, I'm Tadri. You seem pretty tough for someone your age. That look in your eyes gives it away. But you know, there are all sorts of dangerous creatures up ahead, and that retro games is why I'm here. What better way to prepare for what's ahead than by going through one of my intensive training courses? You in? Yes. Great. You know creature types, right, retro games? Every creature type is a type a creature has a type, like flame, water, electric, or whatever, right? And each type has its strengths and weaknesses, yeah? So a flame creature will be super strong against a grass type, but pretty weak against a water type. 
uh, knowing that how different types balance out against each other can really change a battle. And that's where I come in. See, I want to check up on every Discord who passes to make sure they know their stuff. Okay, so here are the rules. You'll battle three rounds against some of my creatures. No items or anything. Probably sounds a pretty bum deal on your end, right? But the flip side is that you'll get to decide whatever type of creatures I'll use. Select flame and I'll use nothing but flame type of creatures. If you know the type strength, your type strength and weakness, you should have no trouble battling your way through three rounds. That's all there is to it. And don't worry, even if you lose a battle, that will be all that you lose. No penalties. Now then go on and pick a type. Water. Alright, it's going inside to get something. Bam. Freaking superhero man. Alright, quiver bowl. Let's start it. Bum, 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 bum. Fireball. Not much. Teardrop. Not much. Teardrop again. Not much. Dead. And then artillery seeds. Alright. And then I just pretty much spam to get through as faster. Because it's done. The battle's done. Dun, 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 Next up is round two. What will happen? The show must go on. How many freaking things? How many creatures does he have? Honestly, think about that now. How many does he have? So, fought. Okay. So, moves. I'm going to do fireball on him. And then I'm going to do that on him. And then I'm going to use artillery seeds. Okay, let's just bam, 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 bam. Doesn't matter. Dude's dead. This quiver pole's dead. He's asleep. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Lucky. Oh, right. Electring woke up. E charge, okay. Not a problem. Encore, encore. Our third and final round. The climax. I think the middle is a starter as well. Alright, sorry. I can hear my own freaking voice in my microphone. Fireball. Electro ball. Artillery seeds. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Oh, everyone gets hit. Cool. Okay, that's all? I missed the other two? What? Alright. Artillery seats. I don't think he died, my god. Dang it. Whatever. It's all good. Defend. Guarding. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Felicitations. The most splendid show. Most worthy of a gift like this. Battle Rome. Battle Trinome. The Battle Trinome is a marvelous instrument that can alter the very speed of battle. If you find battles are too slow paced for your tastes, using this, uh, use this to invigorate them. Find your own tempo. I'll tuck this away in your key items list. Be sure to try it. Alas, our show has now come to an end. But should you feel free to call again, I would love 
Further call again, you, I would love for your rest to perform with all of the other taps as well. Until you heed that call again, au revoir, my friend. Yummy. No. Yeah, no. Battle time. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't heal unless he healed me. Heal me. Thank you. Alright, kill that. Electro ball that. Artillery seeds. One at KO. That's what it's gonna be. It's fine. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna blast through this. Oh, 190, okay. Hey, Craniton leveled up. New move. Yeah, it wasn't fair. Yeah, I took a freaking stamina. Get this. Five Pico. Door's locked. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not interested in whatever you're selling? Huh? Uh, you're not? Well, what do you want then? Oh, you're Disker. Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? We've been working on something so special for you, Diskers. Well, that's a modest collection of creatures you've got there. Come on in. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Don't be shy. It's not often we get visitors all the way out here. Right? Oh, don't mind her. I'm Perla. You might be surprised to hear that I'm actually a creature. And that over there is a is a Rieta. And she's working on Creaturepedia, our creature encyclopedia. And I'm helping her out with it. And by help out, I mean sneaking off into the dens of vicious creatures and doing all her other dirty work. Uh, once it's done, this encyclopedia here will be every Disker's new best friend. My colleague here isn't the talkative type, so I'll explain why. You've been through Pecan Forest, right? Well, there could still very well be some creatures left there that you've yet to set eyes on, but how would you know? See, if you had a Creaturepedia, you'd know just what to look for. It has the names of all the creatures and lots of info where they live, too. When you're fusing discs or looking to get disc skills or all that, wouldn't it help to know where to find what you need? Well, you could look all the way up right in the Creaturepedia. It's an absolute must for any disker on the prowl for new creatures. And you know what? It's a rare day when we get any visitors, so here's a copy on the house. The Pecan Force chapter is the only one we've finished so far, though. We're going to need a bit more time to finish everything. Mostly because one of us has been using Rider's Block as an excuse to laze around all day. A hey, Creaturepedia, full of info on the creatures in Pecan Forest. You can access your copy of the Creaturepedia from your key item list. Well, uh, we'll get cracking on the next chapter, so make sure you drop back in again sometime down the road. But uh, don't go expecting any more freebies. The rest of them are going to cost you. Let me know if you ever need help with any with how to use it. Alright, let's go to key items. Pick on force. See? Tells me which ones I caught and everything. I don't have Claw Daddy. I don't have Chill Bill. There's a question mark, question mark one I don't have. So. Bam. Idiot. See what he's got to say. Someone ought to get this tree out of the way here, but human hands aren't gonna cut it. I wonder if there are any big, strong creatures around here who'd be able to chop it down for us. But luckily for me, I remember when I came here, you know, that there was a construction crew in this little town. Oh. We handle construction, logging, and any other manual labor you can think of. What's that now? The path to the juggling woods is blocked off by a big tree? 
Sounds like a job I can handle. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to be a disker, would you? Uh, you are. Uh, then could you hear me out on this? There's this drackling creature that hangs around by the entrance to Juggling Woods. It's no pushover, see, and I'd really like to have the creature of its caliber working with me here. Problem is, the drackling is a real slacker, and he always turns down any offer I make. So I figure, if I can't get the real thing, even just a disc would do. But I just got some other work to finish up. Think you could head back towards the juggling woods and find that drakling here for me? Draklings are flame types, so make sure your team is prepared for that. Right now my team is hurt, so I'm going to go heal up. Alright, yes. Do, 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 do. I've been refreshed. Sounds good. Actually, what I need to do before I go this way. Actually, I'll do it when I come back. Whatever, whatever. I need to get more high speed memory. Alright. Alright. All right, that's the end for this episode. Next episode, I'm going to be, you know, beating this drakling. Anyways, if you want to help me, there are three ways you can do that. First is by subscribing. It's easy enough. Second is if you want to get a game, then consider going through Humble Bundle and going to it via my link in the description below. Now... You support me, and you support charity when you get a game through Humble Bundle. That's the thing about Humble Bundle. And if you really want to help me as well, then you can uh, become a patron on Patreon. I don't have any rewards right now, but if there's interest in it, I'm going to create rewards. But pretty much what that would do is help me get games, no matter what my financial situation is outside of YouTube. So I could keep getting new games, playing for you all doing guides, things like that. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Retro on.